God is in his holy place. God who unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide. We may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, Say this word to the people. Tears flood my eyes, night and day unceasingly, since a crushing blow falls on the daughter of my people, a most grievous injury. If I go into the countryside, there lie men killed by the sword. If I go into the city, I see people sick with hunger. Even prophets and priests plough the land. They are at their wit's end. Have you rejected Judah altogether? Does your very soul revolt at Zion? Why have you struck us down without hope of cure? We were hoping for peace, no good came of it. For the moment of cure, nothing but terror. Lord, we do confess our wickedness and our father's guilt. We have indeed sinned against you for your name's sake, do not reject us. Do not dishonour the throne of your glory. Remember us. Do not break your covenant with us. Can any of the pagan nothings make it rain? Can the heavens produce showers? No, it is you, Lord. O oh, our God, you are our hope, since it is you who do all this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us. Do not hold the guilt of our fathers against us. Let your compassion haste to meet us. For we are in the depths of distress. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, our Saviour, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O Lord, our God, forgive us our sins. Rescue us for the sake of your name. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. Let your strong arm repeat those condemned to die. But we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give you thanks forever and ever. We will tell your praise from age to age. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Alleluia. 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 The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. 
all who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Leaving the crowds, Jesus went to the house. And his disciples came to him and said, Explain the parable about the darnel in the field to us. He said in reply, the sower, is, the sower of the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed is the subjects of the kingdom. The darnel, the subjects of the evil one. The enemy who sowed them, the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the darnel is gathered up and burnt in the fire, so it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that provoke offences, and all who do evil, and throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Then the virtuous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world, let us all pray to Christ the Lord not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the entire people. For the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. Christ graciously hear us. For those who hold public office, let us call upon the power of the Lord. Christ graciously hear us. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity. Christ graciously hear us. For all of us who pray in faith and ask the mercy of the Lord, let us entreat the compassion of our Saviour. Christ graciously hear us. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers. We ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.